the international stage blockbuster Hamilton may be on pause around the world this summer, but fans can stream the hit musical exclusively on Disney+. Plus. Even better, the filmed version features the original Broadway cast, led by Lin-Manuel Miranda in the title role. I recently got to chat with the stars to find out how it feels to be bringing Hamilton to a wide TV audience. Alexander Hamilton my name is Alexander Hamilton And there's a million things I haven't done But just you wait, just you wait You know, there's been a lot of talk about uh, the price of Hamilton and access to Hamilton. This, this just must be uh, an amazing feeling. It is, because obviously we, we struggled with that in our first year. We had the thing that no one can ever predict or bottle, which is everyone who left the show told everyone they knew about the show. There's only 1,300 seats in the Richard Rogers Theater. And so we made the front two rows $10. We did the ham for ham shows for the people outside waiting for tickets. Um, we prioritized students through Edge of Ham um, and still couldn't serve um, the appetite. So I'm, I'm really grateful to Jeffrey and Tommy for having the foresight to independently finance and make this movie while we were still doing eight shows a week uh, in that first year because it gives us, it gives the world so much more access to not, an ad not a movie adaptation, but actually the thing I spent six years writing. The fact that more people will see this on July 3rd and July 4th, probably than have seen the show live, is the power of this medium. And we feel like those things work alongside each other. It's not one or the other, it's not binary. How does it feel to know that, you know, someone with a credit card and $6.99 a month can, can watch you guys do Hamilton? That exclusive ticket that, you know, we were so famous for being was actually not something that we were proud of. We, we really believe very strongly that, that theater should be accessible. And also shining, you know, as refocusing some of the light that was on us onto all of the other brilliant shows that were also on Broadway. I think we hope to do that again this time with, with this experience streaming. I think, you know, you know, we hope that you love seeing Hamilton. We hope that you learn. We hope that you're supported in the movement right now. And we also hope that it reminds you how desperately you need to buy a ticket to see another show the minute you can leave your house. And here's the piece de resistance. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. Leslie, what what does it mean for you, especially in this moment uh, that the, the whole world is going through uh, with protests, statues toppling? Um, I think people really need to see this story told this way. I, I'm not naive enough to think that that the that the opinions about the show are going to be exactly the same as they were four years ago. I will say, speak for myself. I look at it and I still believe in it as much. I'll tell you why. There's a song early in the show. The song is called The Story of Tonight. Four men of color singing about friendship and brotherhood. Singing about friendship and brotherhood. And I'd never seen anything like it in my life. The image changed my life. That has value still in 2020. So what did I miss? What did I miss? Virginia, my home sweet home, I want to give you a kiss. David, I actually, uh, when I interviewed you down at the off-Broadway opening, mm -hmm. I remember you telling me that it was so great to be able to tell this story, to have this group of actors tell this story. And it feels like now is just, more than ever, right? There was a moment when when we were on Broadway where like Black Lives Matter protests started started popping up, and that and we were uh, you know a lot of us in the community were were really wrapped up in that and really sort of right. nervous about the value placed on our lives just getting to the theater, right? These are the the kinds of parts of being black that don't become part of the mainstream conversation at all. Your implicit care about us actually showing up there should require you to then take care of us while we are on our way there, right? That leap isn't always made and 
for now, we are seeing we are seeing some action towards that. I think the value of Hamilton coming out right now is it allows the conversation to continue for a lot more people than just the folks who get in the door. What is it like to witness what we were all going crazy for? I mean, I know you you've seen the show, but to see what the magic that you guys have, what is it like? What's it like for you, Chris? It's spectacular. Like everybody in this company is so special and so specific. And it, it's just like, that's the part that I marvel at. And I can't, like, I go to sleep thinking about it and I wake up thinking about it. It's like, how in the world did we collect this group of people in this moment to do this thing for, for relatively a long period of time? And here you are seeing it at the very end of it. And it's the sharpest thing I've ever seen lay my eyes on. I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action's an act of creation. I'm laughing in the face of casualties of sorrow. For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow. Was there ever a moment where you doubted this project or was it kind of blessed from the beginning? I think we always believed in the material and we always knew that what Lynn was presenting us was so strong and so singular. But I will be honest, I was not sure that the show was going to be received in the way it was because I wasn't sure that people were going to be interested in American history told through hip hop. You know, it, it goes to show that you can't worry about that kind of stuff all you can really do is try to make the best work of art possible and, and try to have fun with your friends along the way it must be exciting to have the show reach such a mass of people who maybe couldn't afford to see it or couldn't get tickets or i mean is that exciting for you andy to know that we can play a part in putting something in a world that would be so much so easy to access for these young people who have big dreams that are completely untapped that we're going to be able to help them tap things in a way that they wouldn't have. That's a really big gift and a really big privilege. That's right, Hercules Mulligan! What was it like to know that you were performing for these cameras? For, for, for me, I really wanted to remind myself, like, don't try to make anything cuter, cooler, or sexier. Just do the damn thing. Like, we've been doing it for a while. These are people that I love. We, 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 we've... We, we were so intertwined that it's like, just trust all of that. Just trust it. Don't try to make it anything. Don't try to do anything else with it. For me, that was my personal journey. Just be like, the thing works. What is it like for you to watch it? I was just so proud and happy for everyone because those performances that I got to witness from, you know, up and like behind on stage and like see the backs of people's heads and like kind of get a sense of like what was going on there. Like I could feel that energetically, but to be able to get the best seat in the house at every single angle, uh, at every single moment is such a gift because the work that is being done is so good on, on everybody's part. Is it fair to say that with closed captioning, I can also consider this sing-along Hamilton? Are you encouraging people to like, you know, partake in uh, it? However you want to watch this movie, you watch this movie. Yeah, this is about watch, you. This is about you and it is about um, the show coming to meet us where we are in a time when we can't yet gather. And now we have, um, we, now we have this moment and I'm, I'm just, I'm thrilled we, we're able to provide it.